Happy Wednesday! So this video is called The Magic of Language and I do believe that language is very magical in that we kind of create our own experience of the world through the language that we choose to use and so in this video I'm just going to share some crazy thoughts about language and uh, Firstly, I'd like to use language to thank my friends who gave me this beautiful meditation bench, which I'm sitting on. It's a very comfy way to meditate. They just gave me this beautiful little bench. So thank you, using language to thank things. That's one, that's one uh, way that I like to use language is to just kind of have affirmations, like uh, giving gratitude every day. So just just saying out loud like I'm thankful for my healthy body I'm thankful for this healthy food I'm thankful for all these things just saying them aloud really generates a feeling in your body of gratitude and I think possibly one of the reasons for that is uh, Masuru Emoto is this Japanese scientist who studied water and how the vibrations that we send out can affect the molecular and cellular structure of water and so he did all these studies I'll post some links to him in the link box also but he did all these studies of people saying different words at a jar of water and then he froze the water and and looked at the crystal structure of it and when people were yelling at the water saying angry things with angry emotional vibrations then the crystals were all non-symmetrical and really nasty but when they were saying things like love and compassion and sending high vibrations at these water structures then they had these beautiful symmetrical complex structures and so that relates to language because our bodies are mostly water and so when we're saying things with our creating vibrations it's vibrating through our whole body and literally changing the structure of the the water crystals in our body and so if we grew up in an environment where we were always being yelled at then literally our body started to take on the structure of the, our water molecules in our body started to take on that structure. And so if we begin to use new language and say positive af affirmations, then we're literally changing the structure of our body. And maybe you don't believe this, but just even as a metaphor, it's useful to think about of how literally every word we say is creating a vibration that sends an impact to the whole environment and I think if if you ponder your own experience you may realize so many memories of of how when people are speaking nicely you have this like positive feeling in your body and then when people are yelling at you, you kind of are tensed up and uh, so that's just one line of thought on language um, another thing is how <coughs> just language loss we have approximately 6,000 language 6,000 languages still spoken in the world today but uh, language experts say that only half of those are being taught to children so we're potentially going to lose half of the languages in the whole world in the next few generations which is just staggering and uh, that's just cultural domination I feel like Western culture is eradicating all these indigenous cultures and um, I just find it so fascinating how um, indigenous cultures have words and concepts for so many things that we in Western culture don't even have words for and it's just interesting to me it's like does that word even exist for you if you don't have a word for it <coughs> and so recently um, <coughs> my friends and I have been coming up <coughs> excuse me with new words <coughs> if you have a sore throat then you can't 
speak language very well. You gotta drink water. Um, but we've been coming up with new words for things. Like we came up with this word called suthalo, which is the phenomenon which occurs when wind encounters trees. So it's kind of like that fluttering of the leaves, but it's not just seeing the fluttering, it's hearing it, it's feeling it, it's the whole phenomenon. So the word is suthalo. And before I had came up with that word, I never really noticed the flittering of the leaves and how beautiful it is. But now that I have a word for it, I notice it all the time. I'm like, oh, suthalo. And I could tell my friends about it using the power of language. That's the magic of language. As you create new words and things, you're literally creating a new experience. And uh, I just find it so fascinating. And so I would love to hear any interesting thoughts that you have on language if you want to make a video response or just post a comment or a link or something I'm very fascinated with language and all the cool things we can do with it and uh, I'm just going to read a little excerpt from The Ascent of Humanity by Charles Eisenstein whoops just lost the page shibbly do um it's about language, and this book is really amazing. Um, it's online for free, so I'll post the link to it. Um, but here's what the book says. This is page 63. It's on the part of language and label. It says, because <clears throat> previously I was talking about kind of the positive power of language, but this says, the destructive potential of language is contained within the very nature of representation. Words, particularly nouns, force an infinity of unique objects and processes into a finite number of categories. Words deny the uniqueness of each moment and each experience, reducing it to a this or a that. They grant us the power to manipulate and control with logic the things they refer to but at the price of immediacy something is lost the essence of a thing by generalizing particulars into categories words render invisible the differences among them by labeling both a and b a tree and conditioning ourselves to that label we become blind to the differences between A and B. The label affects our perception of reality and the way we interact with it. So I, I find that really fascinating how just kind of using the word cool all the time, it's just like everything is cool. These, that experience is cool, this experience is cool, they're not different, they're both just cool. But if we had more words like that was outstanding, and that was marvelous, then we would kind of differentiate between them. But anyway, I would love to hear what you think about this. I will post the link to The Ascent of Humanity because it's one of my favorite books ever. Uh, <laughs> and have a scoobly do wonderful day and use the powerful magic of language. Peace.